Hey everyone, welcome to Bite Guardian. We all know Windows, it's familiar, like that comfy old chair you can't bring yourself to throw out. But lately I've been hearing whispers. Whispers of another world. A world of open source freedom and penguin-powered awesomeness. Yes, I'm talking about Linux. I decided to take the plunge. Could I, a dyed-in-the-wool Windows user, survive a whole week using only Linux? No dual booting, no safety nets, just me and the penguin. Would it be a glorious adventure or a descent into tech support hell? There was only one way to find out. Buckle up, folks, because we're diving headfirst into the world of Linux. Now, some of you might be wondering, Linux, isn't that for, like, hackers and programmers? It's true, Linux has traditionally been the domain of the tech savvy, but things are changing. Linux is experiencing a surge in popularity. More and more everyday users are making the switch, drawn in by its flexibility, security, and let's be honest, the coolness factor of using something different. From servers to smartphones, Linux is everywhere. Android, the most popular mobile operating system, is built on Linux. Even Chromebooks, those affordable and increasingly popular laptops, run on a version of Linux called Chrome OS. The Penguin is spreading its wings. So, what's the big deal with Linux? Why is it that more and more people are gravitating towards this open source operating system leaving behind the familiar territory of Windows? Why are people choosing it over the familiar comfort of Windows? Is it just a trend or is there something more substantial driving this shift? It boils down to two key factors, flexibility and philosophy. These elements are at the heart of what makes Linux so appealing to a growing number of users. Think of Windows as a pre-built house. It's comfortable, familiar, and comes with everything you need to get started. You move in and everything is set up for you. Linux, on the other hand, is like a set of power tools in a lumberyard. Imagine being handed a plot of land and a truckload of building materials. You have the freedom to design and construct your own home from the ground up. This level of customization is unparalleled. You can tailor every aspect of your operating system to fit your specific needs and preferences. This flexibility extends to every aspect of the operating system. From the desktop environment to the kernel itself, you have the power to customize and tweak to your heart's content. But with great power comes a steeper learning curve. Linux requires a certain level of technical know-how and a willingness to learn. It's not as plug-and-play as Windows. The Linux community is another significant factor. It's a vibrant, supportive, and collaborative environment. Users often help each other out, share tips and tricks, and contribute to the development of the software. In conclusion, the choice between Windows and Linux boils down to what you value more, convenience and familiarity, or flexibility and control. Both systems have their strengths and weaknesses, and the best choice depends on your individual needs and preferences. My Linux journey began with Ubuntu, one of the most user-friendly distributions. I'd always been curious about Linux, hearing tales of its flexibility and power, but also its complexity. Ubuntu seemed like the perfect starting point. The installation process was surprisingly smooth. I followed the step-by-step -step guide provided on the Ubuntu website, and within no time, I was ready to dive into this new world. Gone were the days of fiddling with drivers and partition tables. Ubuntu practically installed itself. I remember the sense of accomplishment I felt when I saw the completion page. The desktop environment, with its clean design and intuitive layout, felt instantly familiar. It was sleek and modern, yet simple enough for a beginner like me to navigate. I was browsing the web, checking emails, and watching cat videos in no time. The built-in Firefox browser worked flawlessly, and I was able to access all my favorite websites without any issues. Installing apps was a breeze thanks to the Ubuntu Software Center, a centralized hub for finding and installing software. It was like having an app store right at my fingertips. Of course, it wasn't all smooth sailing. There were moments of frustration, like when I encountered an error message that I couldn't decipher. But with a little perseverance and some help from the incredibly supportive Linux community, I managed to overcome these hurdles. The forums were a treasure trove of information, and I was amazed by the willingness of experienced users to help newcomers like me. One area where Linux truly shines is security. Because Linux is open source, its code is constantly being reviewed and improved by a global community of developers. This means vulnerabilities are typically found and patched much faster than in closed source operating systems like Windows. But security goes beyond just patching vulnerabilities. 
Linux gives you granular control over your system. You decide what permissions apps have, what data they can access, and how they interact with your hardware. This level of control is simply unmatched in the Windows world. The future of operating systems. So the big question is, can Linux replace Windows as the dominant operating system? This question has been debated for years, and it continues to be a hot topic among tech enthusiasts and professionals alike. Windows still holds a commanding lead in market share, especially in the desktop and laptop market. According to recent statistics, Windows accounts for over 70% of the desktop operating system market. However, the computing landscape is changing. The rise of cloud computing, virtualization, and containerization is shifting the focus away from traditional desktop operating systems. Cloud computing is becoming increasingly prevalent, and Linux is the undisputed king of the cloud. Linux powers the majority of servers and cloud infrastructure, making it a critical component of modern computing. With services like Google Workspace and Microsoft 365 shifting more and more functionality online, the underlying operating system is becoming less important for many users. While Linux may not dethrone Windows overnight, its growing presence in the cloud and the increasing shift towards OS agnostic platforms suggest that it could play a more significant role in the future of computing. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like, subscribe button, and share your thoughts in the comments.